mentioned in another video is I took a, a photograph of the uh, actual the real trike and I superimposed the framework right on top of that basically that's how this came about once I get that to scale all these parts begin to uh, get assembled based on those uh, dimensions and from there you know the rest starts uh, building up from but basically you know I start with the frame the frame is the main the main thing is 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 the real thing as well uh, because the the real aircraft and, and this happens with uh, any aircraft um, real aircraft you know uses a, a a lot a lot more little parts and little components and that are uh, uh, a little bit uh, too much you know when you start doing scale models especially a flying model if it was a static you know you can go crazy with um, uh, making a true replica of all, all the little parts that are like on the real ones but because this needs to fly and this needs to be mainly durable you know I like to make my trikes durable if you've seen, seen some of my videos you know you'll see how um, how I fly my my trikes and they fly extremely well because not not only durability is built into it but there, there's a lot of creativity that gets in, embedded into the uh, specific parts and the way I design them so that the model performs but it's, it's also durable you know on hard landings if we were to do an exact replica of all these little parts you know these these little parts would have to be so so thin uh, at this scale um, and and so these parts would not last as long if you were to come down hard on the, you know on the front end so that's one of the reasons why I have beefed up some of these parts and I'm, I'm gonna be retweaking these parts because this is just the first um, run of these uh, parts okay so the Tanarg it's uh, currently under build So once again, this is Mario with me on my flight. Stay tuned for more.